Yo guys, back from another video with Dana Man, and today, um, I'll exit quickly so I can show you what we're doing. Uh, today, we are doing the Bomber Escort. Now, I have already done this, um, which is pretty cool, um, which is obviously good that I've done it, um, that I have a bit of experience, um, showing you guys how this is done, because I'll be showing you how to do the Bomber Escort mission, uh, because it's relatively easy, you know. The main thing that you need for this, uh, mission is basically... Basically this, really, the CF7X denouncer, um, because, uh, you want, uh, any, like, there's a few planes that work, there's the planes that have the, uh, 360, um, like, 360, like, missile targeting system, which, on this plane it does, I think it has a 180, 180, 360, that, those can, diff those ones can work, but I'll show you some other planes that can can work well with this, uh, not the Dreadnoughts, because that's definitely not going to work. Some planes are fight, like all these other ones. The Albatross works, that's a good plane for it. Uh, definitely not that, that's a plane that I made a while, a little bit ago. Um, not the Alien Killer, the Lockheed. Oh, you know what? You know what? We'll try it with the Lockheed, because that has, um, like, what do you call it? Machine guns that target the enemies. I just have to face them, so I just have to turn around to them. So let's start this bar up. Oh, we almost hit our bomber. Okay, we want to like. I kind of want to go back around the bomber. Where's the bomber? He's just a bit down, isn't he? Okay, so can you hit him from here? No way. No way do these missiles work. Okay, we have to go full pelt at this boy. Because we need to get closer to him. Oh, wait. No way. Do the missiles actually auto-target? Oh, my God. Okay, let's go. My bomb is 2.6 miles away. So I need to get to him quickly. I think he's... Yeah, he's heading across. I need to get to him. I'll go around a little bit. Do a little bit of a hook. Oh, yeah. So, boom. No. Kind of so, I'm kind of floating around my bomber, bomber plane, which is good. We're moving a lot faster in this boy, so we're going to like really tone this boy down because we don't want to be going around this guy too fast. Um, so the bomber escort mission, basically, I, I can't remember how far you have to get him. It said like 70 kilometers um, that you have to get the bomber to. You have to basically protect the bomber from all these other like deadly threats, um, such as like other attacking kind of planes. Um, you can use planes that auto-target, like, well not auto-target, you have to go into the cockpit view to target the plane, like, they're good, and all, but, okay, we've got the next threat, so basically, yeah, the Lockheed's really good, because it's just quick, it's not, like, super quick, but it's a bit faster than the CF-7X denouncer, um, no, we can just do that, can't we? Does that kill him? Yeah, nice. And then basically, you just, like, Slow down the plane. Pretty easy stuff, really. Um, this plane doesn't have air brakes. I'm pretty sure it will, but I don't know how to activate them. Um, I haven't seen how to activate. Obviously, guys, as you saw yesterday, Gusta Algebra did a video on the bomber, uh, not bomber escort. He said he was going to do a bomber escort one next, so I thought may as well I do one as well, because he did the convoy assault, which was pretty nice. Um, I, yeah, it, it's a good video, so guys, definitely support Gusto's channel, um, because he'll be probably posting more of those videos. And also, another thing about this challenge is you need some, need a plane with some good fuel, and a plane that can go, like, a pretty decent speed, luckily, because I'm going 406 miles an hour, I am slowly, I think this plane goes, the plane in front goes, like, 400, so. I think it's better we go a bit faster. I think you have to take out some turrets after, so you need some air-to-ground stuff, which the machine guns do, anyway, so. Yeah, see, look, we're catching up to them. That's the whole point. So we just have to get over to that island in front of us. As you can see, that's like kind of in the distance. So I think there's like three more planes that we need to beat um, that will show us where they are, which is pretty easy. So, And also, guys, subscribe to Ace, Ace Shorts. That's a pretty legendary channel. Um, he posts some shorts and whatever, as you know. Hence the name of the channel. will speed up a little bit. Yeah, this plane, you have to like touch a little bit and then move on. Some of the planes that I have that you may have seen in the fastest planes in history, um, some of those planes work well because they all have auto-targeting systems, but they're really fast. So I'm going to have to zoom past our old friend here, our bomber, and bullet, bullet this boy out. Oh, there's two enemies. Okay, so we're going to have to, like, 
Watch out, because these guys might be able to hit us. I'm not sure what the... Yeah, okay. Easy. That should be him dead. Yeah, easy stuff. Let me just need to get back to our bomber. And he'll slowly increase on us. Basically, he'll get more distance on us. Yeah, there he is. Easy stuff. Now we just need to get level with him. And then, yeah, we're all good. We're flying with our bomber. It's pretty chill. And then, yeah, so at the range, there is some turrets down there. This will be a pretty short video. I just want to be able to post a video. Also one that I know will get views over time, which is pretty nice. Um, I think we've got a few more. There's some parts of the other plane there that just flew past. Wow. That shows how far away they were when I got them. Um, this is looking good. And if you guys want to, so if the more likes this, well, my Pixel Gun videos get and more views they get, um, I'll probably be posting some more Pixel Gun videos. And I hope you guys like the ranch trailer. The ground threat detected. Yeah, we're going to have to zoom in real quick. Maybe we just slow down to like 50% so we get past our bomb. Yeah, we might just zoom in. I don't want to go too fast. I know where, I'm pretty sure I know. You don't actually have to hit the ground target, I don't think. Where is this ground boy? Don't know where he is. He's somewhere, I think he's over here. By last time, I'm, last time I did this, I'm pretty sure it was over there. I need to find him. What's the problem? I don't know where he is. Is he? Where is... Oh, I think I see it. Yeah, from here. I'm pretty sure that's it over there. Just dodge a bit of bullets and then lift up. Oh, fuel surge gone. Okay, we can't crash. Oh, look at that sick afterburner, guys. That's all part of the plan. We wanted to have a sick afterburner. <sighs> to go, like... We're going to hook around our bomber. We're going to go back up and just, like, float around our bomber. Air yeah, threat detected. We have to zoom in again past our bomber and teach this lad a good lesson. So, by last time, that was a bit of a mistake that I made. Now we just hook around our bomber again and slow down. This is like a really easy mission, guys. I don't know how I died to that stupid ground threat. I don't even think you have to hit the ground threat. I think the bomber, what it has, the bomber has to go to the ground threat and drop a bomb on it. That's all it has to do. So... That's all. That's what's gonna happen. I'll uh, we'll speed up a little bit because um, 0 0.4 miles, 400 meters, like roughly. Well, because this is miles, it's not actually 400 meters. We go 30 percent, which means we'll stick around the 400 mile mile an hour mark, which is pretty good. I think the plane in front, the bomber actually goes 400 miles an hour anyway. So, um, it's turned from a short video to a bit of a longer one because we have to do the whole thing again. But the first two um, threats basically that come out are pretty quick succession so there'll be coming, one coming soon and then there's a set of two which I'll have to deal with which is a bit annoying and then it's literally just a ground I think there's one more singular one and there's a ground threat which you can missile it's hard because you actually can't target it so um, I can do a dive bomb and go in like that but yeah but it's pretty hard to get in because it's like He's a bit of a scrub, so we're like 11,000 feet up in the air. I want to slow down to 26%. Oh, okay, we need to retract the landing gear. I just remember that so we're a bit more agile in our turns. And we get back. Yeah, there we go, back to our bomber. Pretty close to our bomber. Um, we won't overtake him, I don't think. We're slowing down. We're in, we're getting closer to him, but we're not gonna hit him, whatever. Yes, yeah, so as I said, he goes around 400, so we're still increasing. We're like 100 meters away. We're not that far away. If I can catch him a little bit, so I'm right next to my bomber. That'd be kind of cool. There we go. We're like right next to our bomber. That'd be a cool thumbnail, won't it? Bomber escort right there. We are, we are gaining on him. Very fast. We go, oh, that was so close. We were right there. Oh my god, we're about to hit him. Where's the next? Oh, it's a double enemy air threat. Yeah, okay. We got this. 
pretty good. Hope you guys enjoy the music that's in the background of my videos as well. Um, if you have any more ones that you can comment, just just, just say what the video is called and on YouTube, and I'll search it up, and we'll see if it's some cool. If it's if it's, just make sure it's like the same kind of genre as the music I already have in my channel, kind of like trolley ish music. I might add the Bunnings Warehouse Trap remix, but Gusto's already gonna have that. So this plane's not okay. Now we, now we have to absolutely gas it past our boy, and then we just go like that. Oh, it's a double enemy air threat, so we've got him, and then we have to just wreck him. So they'll both die. That's one. Easy stuff, and then we just have to hook around. I'll bomb him. Now we're gonna make sure we don't go as far. Where is he? The hell? Where's my bomber at? Oh, he must have been below me or something. Come on. Where's our bomber at? He's just there. Alright, cool. We can increase the speed and gain a bit on him. And then now, the next one. I, is it an enemy air threat? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's the ground air threat. The ground air threat. The ground threat. Um, But this shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, well, it definitely isn't hard. I know. I can guarantee that, guys. Um... So I think what we just need to do is we need to attract all the fire from the ground threat. So we need to be as like close as we can while also dodging its attack. So you don't actually have to hit the ground threat at all. Um, that's what I've, I remember. Yeah, so here's the ground threat. So this is so we need to stay at like 74%. We'll go to 100% so we can get near him. And then we'll go we'll go like 70% so we can like avoid all of the attacks. And that afterburn did look sick in the previous one. So we can't actually detect this guy, so I think if we can go cockpit, no, cockpit, there we go. So now we can see if we can get spawn the scope. Because I'm pretty sure you can blow him up, so we're going to go, we're going to get in at a fast pace. We're going to dive on we're going to lift up as fast as we can. Yeah, we know him. I'm going to duck behind this. Lift up over the top. Back all the fire. Barrel out, barrel out again. Dive, lift, and say low. Our bomber's all good. He's not attracted. I'm attracted to the firing. I can't get too close because I'll get hit. Lift up. Oh. Pretty close. Let's lift up again. Okay, but bomber's been gun dropping its payload, which means it's dropping on that. Perfect. Nice! The bomber's dropped its payload. Easy stuff. Nice. So yeah, basically that's all you have to do. You literally just have to attract the um the little um what do you call it? Turret, and then it just shoots you. And you if you have a plane fast enough like this, which goes like a thousand miles an hour, it's not even gonna get you. It's not actually gonna get you. Oh, I'm locked. Okay, whatever. Um I should be able to just and now I'm not. Yeah, so that, guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, this is not a plane I'd use. I wouldn't use this plane. I just decided to use it because it shouldn't be too hard. Um, I was going to use the CF7X Denouncer, which is probably not as fast. Actually, not regretting using the Lockheed. Because um, that's also a very good plane. I'm trying to find some other planes that might be also good. The MiG, like if you're doing World War II fighters, maybe. Um, not the Enterprise, that's way too fast. You can even try the B2, maybe. Uh, that's not really that good because you have to like really get close to them. It's not like the new technology where it's just like 360. No scope and everyone. Um, but yeah, guys, that'll bring the video. Hope you enjoyed. What is the shack bill? Oh, that thing. Yeah, okay. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, subscribe to myself, Gusta Algebra, and I will see you soon because I'll be posting a video on how to play Power League because uh, I'm in Diamond 1 now because, you know, when you're Diamond 1, you're a pro like me. And also a Pixel Gun video coming soon, not sure what it's going to be. Maybe getting the Jet Spear, which is in the current um, sets, Laurie. Uh, but that for you guys, that's the end of the video. See you soon.